you guys like my new intro? Tell me in the comments. Alright, today on this episode, I think it's episode... 17. We are going to get lots of heart pieces and some masks. So it's kind of like an optional quest and it's really fun. So I haven't had a Majora's Mask out, um, like the last three to four days. I've been busy working on my other account and, uh, I'll put the link up in the top, like, the subscription link. So you can click on it and go to my new, um, YouTube that, um, that's with my friend. We're gonna need to take out 500 rupees. So the fastest way to do that would be our bank. So you should have enough money by, by now, in this point of the game, since we're, like, about halfway done with it. Alright, we're gonna go to the laboratory to get the moon's tier to start this uh, optional side quest thingy, you know, bubber. And it's gonna be fun. So I'll see you guys when we get to the laboratory. Alright, I talked to the Scarecrow as we're going to need him later on for uh, two optional heart pieces. Alright, go grab that moon's tier, because we're going to need it, because we're, we're going to be starting the lands deed trading game to get some optional heart pieces, as well as some other heart pieces from other places. Yeah. Head to Clock Town, because that's where we're going to start the Land Deeds training game. Talk to this annoying Deku guy, which I don't really like. He's really annoying. So, yeah, talk to him and then give him the Moon's Tear. He'll give you a Land Deed for Southern Swamp. Talk more about that in a second here.
Give this guy here the clock tower lens deed and he'll give you the southern swap lens deed that will be used for the snow region. But first before you do that, it's a good idea to get a magic bean, so transform into your Deku form and grab one because you'll be used for later. And then transform it back into your adult form and um, give him the lens deed. Alright, now grab this beautiful looking piece of heart that's calling your name out. Grab me, grab me, grab me. And then make your way to the snow region where we'll get ne our next piece of heart. Remember those 500 rupees I told you to grab from the bank like earlier in the video? Well transform into your girl on form. Give him 200 of those rupees. That's only if you got the biggest bomb bag earlier in the game like I did. So give him your biggest bomb bag and 200 rupees and he'll give you the biggest bomb bag. So yeah, awesome. Here's one of my favorite parts I want to show you. He says, thanks for stopping by. I'm sorry, but I can't do business with you, Fernando Goron. It's a regulation of the Business Scrubs Association. It can't be helped. It hurts. I know. I, this, I think that's absolutely hilarious. I don't know. I get kicked out of that every time I play this. But uh, transform into your Deku form. Give him the Southern Swamp Lands Deed. You will get the Snow Area Lands Deed that will be used for the Great Bay Coast. But uh, make sure you grab the piece of heart when he leaves because... We love pieces of heart. Yeah. Before I finish the rest of the land D trading stuff, I'm gonna go get some fish. So I'm gonna get some four fish and bring it back to the laboratory so I can get another heart piece. So let's go get some fish.
I'm not a good fish catcher in a bottle guy, so you're going to see that a lot here. Alright, just drop the fish in this big tank. When I recorded this, I didn't realize that we needed six fish, but it kind of makes sense. Six bottles, six fish. We will be returning here sometime in the future, before this video is over, to feed him the other two fish. But for now, just put the four fish in here. We're going to go off and use some other stuff real quick. Alright, let's go get a heart piece and the other two fishes that we'll need for that tank. Oh yeah, make sure you got a scarecrow song because uh, you'll need a scarecrow for this heart piece and for one more heart piece that's, that's coming up soon. This part right here is pretty simple. Just use your hook shot. Try to hook onto those uh, things. The heart piece is in that little cave over there. Make sure you have a uh, magic bean in this Durko song that you'll need along with some hot spring water or just some spring water. When you get all the way up there, make sure you plant the magic bean that's by that spot after you um, hook your way over there. Then play a Durko song and then just get the heart piece. I'm going to stop talking for now while... We get the harpies, but like I said, make sure you have all the necessary materials I told you to get earlier, including some uh, water, which I don't think I told you, but make sure it's uh, spring water. There's a lot of locations you can find it at. Uh, the closest one I found was uh, my Goron Village. You can also go to the, the Southern Swamp, uh, but uh, whatever works for you to get it and whatever is closer to you. Thank you. 
All right, another piece of heart. We got a lot of them so far, and we're gonna get a lot more. Here we go. All right, if you're following along with me and doing what I'm doing, grab two more little fishy fishes. Yeah, we're gonna need them to uh, get another heart piece in the laboratory. So like I said, grab two fish and then follow me. Yes, another piece of heart. Alright, right here by this spot is where we're gonna get our next piece of heart. I'm not even sure which one it is, but again, here's another piece of heart. Just be careful, don't fall like I almost fell there. That would have been a bad example. Play this Gurkha song and uh, hook on there, grab the piece of heart, and we'll go to our next location. Also, look out for the keys, uh, the ice keys, because those are a pain in the freezer.
All right, for our next piece of heart, we're gonna go to Zora Hall. I kind of took the wrong way. It's been a kind of a while since I played this, but uh, not too long though. But I took the wrong way, not knowing where I was going, and I ended up in the back of Zora Hall. But that's okay. I'm unique. I do things a different way, so whatever. Yeah. So right in here, we'll get a piece of heart. Follow along with me. And it'll be pretty simple. We gotta do a few things in here first. In this room, we're gonna read someone's diary. Shh, it's a secret. Don't tell no one. But uh, turn into your link form, hook shot way up there, turn back into your Zora form, read the diary. What I do is I memorize the notes by like writing it down because you're gonna memorize some notes. They're gonna, then we're gonna go have a band session with this uh, one dude, one Zora dude that's a bass player. Oh man, the bass is so awesome. I love bass. But uh, yeah. So, let's do this. Yeah, I read it twice. Uh, I like to read things more than once so I could uh so I can know what it means and stuff. I don't know. All right, now let's go to the bass player's room, which I believe is right here. It'd make the most sense. So, come on, get into that door. There we go. Get your um. Make sure you see in your Zora form. Get the uh, ocarina out. And uh, have a session with them. Just play what you what what you read in the diary. And I'm gonna stop talking. Wasn't that fun? I enjoy these Majora's Mask music and cutscenes. It's really awesome. 
All right, now we're gonna go into this uh, other guy's room. I think he's the pianoist. So what it seems like to me. We're gonna go play what we just played with the bass player. But we're gonna play it to this guy in our link form. And uh, play it and then enjoy the cutscene. Oh man, this is so awesome. All right, enjoy. I hope you didn't throw out that snow region title deed. We're gonna need it right now because we're gonna finish up the uh, land deed training game. Okay, right over here in this next room, we're gonna give the uh, uh, snow region title deed to this guy. He's gonna give us the IKEA one. So then we have one more to go. But yeah, actually, actually this will be the final one. But I should stop talking now, but yeah. Give it to him, get the heart piece, and then we'll make a way somewhere else. Yeah. <laughs> All right, now we're gonna go to Icania, but before we do that, we're gonna go to Clock Town and make it 6 p.m. Then that way, and I'm gonna also revert time back to normal. That way, when we're done with going to Icania and doing all the stuff, when we come back here, we'll be ready for the uh, cutscene over there by the park where the guy steals the old lady's bomb bag because we needed to do that in order to get this cool mask for 500 rubies. So, let's go. Alright, while we're heading to Ikea Canyon, I want to say something real quick. I'll be doing a little glitch that lets me get up by the owl statue right now. Usually you need the ice arrows, but like I said, I'll be doing a little glitch that lets me get up there without the ice arrows. 
and I'll show you that in a second. But I know you people follow along with me do all the stuff I do, but if you don't want to do a glitch, you can wait until after you beat the Grip Bay Temple first, and then you can go up there. But I'll be doing it right now, because uh, I like doing that. It's a very simple glitch, it's very easy. You, you just need to be really careful, and I'll show you in a second. So let's go to Ikea Canyon. Make sure you got the Gibbles mask from the Goron Brothers way back in one of the earlier episodes where we raced them. If you got that mask, you can follow along with me. If you haven't got it yet, go get it. Otherwise, you can't get up, uh, up here. Alright, right here is where the little glitch is. The red dot indicates the place it's going to hook to. As you are guys already know that. But make sure you hit the red thing right there by that piece of wood. If you do it right, you'll be able to hook right on there and get up there. It's a little glitch I learned a long time ago. But again, I'll be doing this glitch. If you don't want to do it, wait until after you beat the Great Bay Temple. Thing, then you can go up here. Also, I will not be doing anything up here until after I beat the temple. I'm just going up here just to activate the owl statue and that's it. The uh, quick access. Alright, now that I have activated the Owl Statue, let's go finish up the last part of the Land Deed. So, the Land Deed you got from the Great Bay Coast, or aka Zora Hall, we'll be using that to get a piece of heart. Once you give this guy over here the Lands Title Deed from Zora Hall, he will give you 200 rubies and leave and you will get 
to get a piece of heart. It's that simple. So let's do this. Alright, now let's head to Clock Town because time's a wasting. We need to go see the old lady from that guy. Make sure she can see Big Bomb Baked in stock. And then on the third and final night at 10, a, uh, 10 p.m., we'll be able to get the Outlander's Mask, which will help us get a few more heart pieces in. Yeah. So, here we go. I'm not going to talk anymore until I get to the third day. There, we're going to go to Ryomi Ranch and do some dog racing. So I will talk when we get to the dog racing, okay? See you guys then. Here we are at the dog track where you can race dogs and hope to win. This is awesome. Alright, uh, the easiest way to win is use the Mask of Truth that we got from the Scotchula house way back in one of the first episodes by uh, that place. I can't, I don't know. But uh, uh, you can do this without the mask, but uh, it's a lot harder and I've done it before. But uh, for the sake of this, I'm going to use the mask. And just read what they say and whatever you choose, just bring over there by that lady. So I'm just going to go through a lot of dogs and pick one, pick which one I want. And I'll talk to you more about what happens after. Thank <laughs> you. 
The goal here is to get over 150 rubies, uh, and whatever she said, yeah, so, have fun, and let's hope my dog wins. So, if you get 150 rubies or over, you get a piece of heart. Now, um, this may take you a lot of tries. I make this look easy just because I have a lot of practice. I even make it look easy when um, I don't have the mask on and I can't read where they're thinking and it's like up to chance. I don't know. I'm just I'm just lucky and good at this. So, again, it might take you a couple of tries for me. I don't know. But now we're going to go to Clock Town and I will see you guys on the third night at 10 p.m. Make sure you have 500 rubies with you, so if you're following along with me, you should have that amount in your bank, you should have the adult wallet, you should have everything you need to get this all-nighter's all mask. Sorry, my tongue's dry. But, um, buy it, and then we'll use it in the next episode. And just to let you guys know, in the, in the next episode, we'll be getting a bottle of piece of heart, and then in episode 19, we'll be entering the Great Bay Temple. Yes. Well, also, I'll be using an Xbox 360 controller hooked up, to, hooked, up, sorry, hooked up to my computer beyond now, so I'll be doing a lot better, and you'll see that in the next episode. So until then, this is Eric, signing out. See you later. <laughs>